Hey there, guys and gals. The Introvert Old Bull here, and um, it's um, it's been quite a long time since I've um made a video. Um, I'm sorry if I've been gone for the rest of Mar February and all of March up until today. It's just that I have been super busy with school, and I've just you know, I've just been more focused with my school, and you know, and to be totally honest with you, I'm actually losing energy in making videos nowadays. I like, I just, I just don't like, like, want to make videos anymore, I'm just, I'm losing interest, but I do, I still am going to make videos, there are so many videos I, I want to, like, um, um, make right now, and I'm actually, and there, and the first three that I'm making are based on the same topic, which is fan fiction reading, and today, we're going to be reading a fan fiction, um, by Wattpad user Frankie Iero is Bay, and the title of this fanfiction is called Rylon One Shots, and it's basically a pairing between Ryan Ross and Alan Weeks, two of whom were former Panic at the Disco members, and one of whom has now gone on to be the frontman of a little known band called I Don't Know How They Found Me, that being Alan Weeks, and Ryan Ross has just since then just retired and has just been living just a quiet life, and not much is known with what he's, you know, doing and stuff, but. Yeah, that's um that's pretty much um all I have to say. Um this is a very short fan fiction. It's overall just five stories. Um it overall just has five parts of the story and it was last updated on the 1st of May 2016, so it's quite an old fan fiction. Um but yeah, and and the description says Ryan Ross and Dallin Weeks. Could anything be more perfect? I don't know. I don't see this as a perfect pairing, mainly because they're too different, right? Ryan Ross is short, Dallin Weeks is tall, Dallin looks like the kind of guy who'd love 80s music, and Ryan seems like the guy who'd love 50s and 60s music. And I, and I feel like the only connection between these two is just the fact that they've been, you know, made out by uh, Brendan Urie um, a lot when they were in Panic! at the Disco. Um, but this is a fan fiction I have been um, very much aware of um, for such a long time, and I decided to make a video on it. I'm also making another video on two more fan fiction um, stories that I've seen on Wattpad, and I'm going to make videos on them very soon. Um, and um, that's all I have to say. And um, I figured um, before we uh, get started with this um, fan fiction reading video, I figured I would make us special announcement to announce that I officially have a Reddit account. My Reddit account, for those who are wondering, it is called academic-credit3392. I'm just getting the the, the page right up and I'm, I'm going to show you it uh, right now. So yeah, here is the page right now. I don't know if you guys can um, see it that well. Um, that is my official uh, Reddit account. I created it back in January of this year and if you go on my uh, about section, you will actually see it. Um, there's a link for it right there. And for those who are wondering what pages I am following right now, I am following the Lincoln Park page. I'm following the Hilda page. I'm following the Paramore page and the My Chemical Romance page, or subreddits. So those are the subreddits I am um, following. That is my official Reddit account. I'm also proud to announce that I officially have a new. I'm also going to be making a new style of video. Yo's. And it's basically just them being recorded on my phone as I am proud to announce that I officially have an editing app called Go Recorder. Um, I got recommended to it, uh, recommended by it thanks to a friend of mine that I know and it's officially on my phone and I'm going to make phone based videos um, right now whenever I feel like to, probably at school or something like that. But yeah, that, that's all the announcements um, done and without further ado, um, let's get into the story. Alright, so, um, without further ado, let's begin. Gotta wait for the page to load. Oh, we're having, um, slight technical difficulties. Excuse me for one second. So, um, you won't believe what happened, but, um, long story short, um, tried to get the story to work, um, ended up having, and I ended up clicking signing into Google, so they ended up getting signed into my account, which means I now have an official Wattpad account. And I had to get asked a lot of things like, do I like to read or write? I said I like to read, and I said my pronouns were he, and um, and all that stuff, and now I'm officially known 
and I didn't know that I was, uh, well, I mean, I knew that I, well, I knew that I was creating an account, but I didn't know what to call my account, so I called my account Lolza141. Yes, it's about as bad as you can imagine, but yeah, I now have an official um, Wattpad account. I'll deal with that later. But now it's time we get to the actual reading of the story, so here we go. I'm also going to butcher Brendan Yuri and Dallin Weeks's and Ryan Ross's voice, so if you if you guys want to see me continue, if you guys want to see me um butcher up their voices, um then um then just keep watching. But if you don't, um click play right now. So here we go, chapter one, meeting him. Brendan, please, no, Ryan, why did you do it? I I don't know. See, you can't be honest with me. It was a mistake, Brendan. I know that much. Please, Brent. No, I've forgiven you too many times, said the singer, f said the singer, tears falling from his eyes. I thought, I thought we would be able to fix this, but we're already broken. Too broken to fix. I'm done. What? No, you can't, the guitar player cried. I'm sorry, Ryan. Leave. You can come get your stuff tomorrow. The two boys were having a pretty big argument. Ryan cheated on Brendan. It hasn't been the first time either, so you can kind of understand Brendan's reaction, right? Um, sort of. So as Brendan ordered, Ryan left. Both boys had tears springing from their eyes. Insert Northern Downpour. Now I have that song in my head. Anyway. Ryan didn't mean to cheat. He was drunk, and so was the guy he, meet. he, he met. They didn't know what that they were doing. It. I added the word it. It doesn't actually say it. Um. Anyway, Ryan found himself at a bar trying to drink away his problems. Like that would help. Like that would help. He had five shots, five beers, and one whiskey. But Ryan knew how knew how to hold his alcohol. It was only when something much stronger that he had that he couldn't control himself. Wow, Ryan had eleven drinks. That he, Ryan's an alcoholic, gentlemen. Anyway, hi. Hello. What what brings you here? What brings you here? Just split up with my now with my now ex boyfriend. The skinny man stuttered. Oh, I'm sorry about that. The stranger said, giving him a soft look. Oh, don't be. It's not your fault. The boy chuckled. I'm Dallin, by the way, the stranger said. The, the stranger smiled. Dallin. Ryan liked that name. I bet he did. I'm, I'm Ryan, the slightly shorter one smiled. Ryan. He liked the way that, that his name rolled off Dallin's tongue. It sounded so, so sexy, beautiful, anything good. So, Dallin, so Dallin, shall we get out of here? Ryan said flirtatiously. So, Dallin, I feel like I have to say that flirtatiously now, so. <clears throat> so, Dallin, shall we get out of here? Ryan said flirtatiously. Your place or mine? Dallin smirked. Yours. Soon enough, both boys were at Dallin's place in the bedroom. The room filled with pants and pants and moans escaping from each other's mouths. They just met at a bar and they're already doing it. Amazing. All you need now is just Brendan Yuri involved and then we can literally make Brylon, which is a threesome of of Brendan Yuri and his ex girlfriends, Ryan Ross and Dalton Weeks. Alright, I'm just gonna have a sip of my water real quick. Anyway. D Dallin, I, I know, baby, me too. They had been going at it for quite some time. Soon moans became louder, kisses sloppier, thrusts lazier, and they both came. Dallin pulled out of Ryan and collapsed on top of him. Yep, Ryan was a bottom. He's gonna feel it tomorrow. <laughs> Well, that, that that's nice to know that Brendan Yuri was top to him and Ryan's relationship. Interesting. That was amazing. So what are we 
Do you do you want to be? Yeah. They kept cutting each other off. They've only known each other for not even a day, and they are already an item. That was quick. Soon they were both tired and fell asleep. A few minutes later, Ryan found himself feeling guilty. Sure, him and Brendan were over, but they had, but they had broke up just that that just that day. And Ryan, Ryan's already found someone else. It'll be hard to get over Brendan because Ryan did love him more than anyone. But being with Dallin made Ryan happier than he ever felt. So surely this is good for him, right? This beard of mine is getting really itchy. I need to get rid of this. The next morning, Ryan woke up feeling, woke up feeling sore. Probably from what happened the night before. He walked into the kitchen and Dallin laughed, knowing he was in pain. Oh, I'm sorry. Was It It was good though, right? Dallin said, kissing the top of Ryan's head. Now I just imagine Dallin doing all these things to Ryan. It's kind of giving me mental images. Amazing. Ryan smiled slightly. I made breakfast. You like bacon and eggs, right? Fuck yeah. Ryan laughed. Um, no, Ryan, he likes cheese whiz and, dare I say it, milk. Anyway. Maybe meeting him turned into something special. Maybe the fight with Brendan brought Ryan the happiest moments he could have. Okay. Chapter 2. Date. Um... Wanna wanna go on a date? When? Now, Dallin smiles. Oh, okay, sure. Let me go get dressed. I smiled back. Okay, so I'm assuming we're in Ryan's point of view. Ever since that night at the club and coming back to Dallin's, I've moved in with him and we've even made it official. I don't think I love him just yet, but I'm getting towards that stage. Babe, you ready to go? Hmm? Yep, come in. I say. Dallin took me to Starbucks. Not big, but but enough to make me happy by spending time with him. What do you what do you want? I'll get it. Coffee, please. Sure. I walked up to the counter and ordered, waited a few minutes for the drinks. For the drinks, and then took them and sat back down with Dallin. <coughs> we stayed in Starbucks for about 10 15 minutes before leaving. Now we are walking around town. Oh, there's my friend, Ray. Come say hi. What? Come on. So we walked over to see his friend. I wish he hadn't. Brendan, hey. Awkward. Brendan Yuri's best friend is dating his ex. Nice to, nice to see you, Dallin. He smiles. Wait. Ryan? Hey, Bren. I give a small wave. What are you? He's my boyfriend, Dallin smiles. Hold on. Do you, do you know him? Oh. Brendan looked hurt. He's my ex. Uh, I have to go. I'll see you later. Bye. Me and Dallin say at the same time. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you knew him. It's fine. I should have told. I should have told told you. But don't worry about that. About that now. Dallin smiles. I mean Ryan smiles. But you had a. But you had a good day. Yeah. The taller boy asked. The tree asked. <laughs> the best. Ryan smiled once more, kissing his cheek. But Ryan has to get up on his tippy toes in order to do that. You know? Alright. Chapter 3. Those three words. Babe? Yeah? Wanna go out? Wanna go out today? Sure, let's go. Dallin says, dragging me behind him. Wanna go into Hot Topic? Or we can go go to Starbucks. Okay, okay, I laugh. I laugh. Let's go. We walk in and I sit down. Dallin asks me what I want. Hot cho hot chocolate, please, babe. I smile. 
I wait about five minutes for Dallin to come back with our drinks. Let me let me tell you the best hot chocolate I've ever had. Ready to go, babe? Is that a ready to go reference? I bet it is. Well, they're probably unintentionally. Yeah. Let's watch the sunset on this hill. This is now a third person point of view from what it says on the page here. Let's watch the sunset on this hill. Romantic. Okay. Down took Ryan's hand within his own and walked to the top of the hill. On the hill was a blanket and a picnic basket completed with two glasses and a bottle of wine. You planned this. I did. The tall man blushed. Aw, babe, thank you. The former guitarist smiled. Those words, former guitarist. Why? Why have to add those? They both, they both sat down on the blanket, cuddled up to one another, enjoying each other's company. It was so peaceful and quiet. Hey, Dal? Yeah? Is it too early to say that I love you? No, not at all, the bass player smiled. I love you. Kiss. So much. Kiss. It literally says that. Ryan giggled at his boyfriend's cuteness. Minutes later, they were in a heated makeout station. We can continue this at home, Dallin winked. Come on. Fine, Ryan said sadly. Hey, Dallin said softly. I love you. I'm running out of breath. I love you too. What kind of, Ryan, Ryan smiled. I wonder who created the Rylon and the Brylon pangs. Like, someone who's obviously taken crack would have to have made that. Chapter 4. Move in with me. Dallin and Ryan have been dating for a year now. They are glad that they have, they have each other. If it wasn't for the night Ryan fucked with Brendan's feelings and argued and all that shit. If he hadn't gone, hadn't have gone to the pub that night of the argument, if he hadn't cheated, but then he wouldn't have met Dallin. That's sad. They both, they both were talking about how, going out for the day. Another date, the third time this week, they were inseparable. How about we go to the movies? What about the zoo? Oh, please, I love the zoo. Ryan asked, why not? The zoo during the day and the movies at night. Make a whole day of it, Dallin smiled. Okay, great, Ryan smiled back. Oh, look, I know, Ryan, Dallin chuckled. Sorry, you're probably bored. Lord, we can go if you want. I mean, we've been here for, here two hours. No, no, baby, we can, we can stay a little longer. I don't mind, but our movie's at seven, so okay. There's one more thing I want to see. Which is it? Penguins. Okay, come on then. Right, we gotta go if we're gonna be ready for the movie. Don called. Sorry, babe. Two seconds. Ryan shouted back. They decided to leave the zoo early so they could both get home and get changed into something more nice, I guess. Ryan came out wearing black jeans, black vans, and a white button up. up. His hair all ruffled in a stylish way. He looked good. Wow. Down said in amazement. What? You look amazing. Thank you, Ryan blushed. You don't look too bad yourself. Thanks, right. Come on then. The mo the that movie was amazing, wasn't it? They were back they were now back from the movies. They went to watch Batman v Superman. Interesting choice of uh, movie there. They both they both love it. I guess I better go. You know, you know, you can spend the night. You know you can spend the night. I feel like I bother you if I do. Hey, Don said softly. You could never bother me, baby. Really? Really. Both boys were cuddled up in bed, enjoying the peace and quiet of company. Hey, Rai, yeah? Never mind, it's stupid. There's never a stupid question, only a stupid answer, Rand said, smiling. Oh, okay, uh... Would you want to maybe, I don't know, move in with me? I find it kind of impressive how they haven't moved in with each other despite everything that they've been through. With this story, I find it interesting. Okay, uh, would you want to maybe, ah, uh, we've already read that. You want me to move in with you? 
Dallin nodded. Well, I can be messy and I snore loud and so I take that as a yes. Of course it's a yes. I'd love to move in with you. I love you. I love you too. This is making me sad. Because I, cause I feel like I'm going to be single for the rest of my life, you know. Anyway, chapter five. Marry me? Ever since that night, it, ever since they moved in together, they have been inseparable. Ryan's thinking of proposing, but would other people say it's too soon? What if Dallin says no? What then? Babe, Ryan calls from the other room. Yeah, Dallin replies. I'm taking you out tonight. Ryan says, walking into his room, his boyfriend is in. Oh, okay, great. Cool. I love you. Love you too. Also, does um Breezy um Weeks not exist in this universe? Dallin Weeks' is life, wife, and Zberg, like, do they not exist in this universe? I guess not. I mean, Brendan exists, so surely, you know, Breezy Weeks and, um, you know, Ryan's girlfriends would have existed, you know? Um, anyway, I forgot what part we were reading at now, because I was questioning the logic. Uh, love you too, um... Babe, are you ready? Ryan called. Yeah, two seconds. Dallin came out wearing black jeans, black dre black dress shoes. Is that what the posh shoes are called? And a nice white button up. Finished off with a waistcoat. Wow. What? Dallin blushed. Baby, you look gorgeous. I thank you. He giggled. It took ten minutes to get to the restaurant. Now they were in line and waiting to be taken to their table. Ross reservation? This way, please. They were taken to a table by the window. It had a nice cloth, of nice white cloth and red placemats, candles lit, and a nice bottle of champagne. All this for me, Dallin gasped. You deserve it, baby, Ryan smiled. The waiter came over minutes later. Ryan ordered steak and chips. Dallin ordered spaghetti bolognese. I don't think that's the kind of food that Dallin weeks, that the spaghetti that Dallin... Weeks love cities. I think he's like fenichi fenichi or something like that. I don't know what it's called, but like, I'm pretty sure that's what the kind of spaghetti that Dallin likes. I don't think it's spaghetti bolognese. After they ate, Ryan finally plucked up the courage. He was going to ask Dallin. Now, Dal, oh my God, I know we've been together for a year, but you make me so happy. I love you a lot. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Will you marry me? Fuck yeah, I will. Well, Dallin smiled while crying. I love you. I love you too. And that's it. That's the end of the story, by the way. It ends with um, Dallin and Ryan um, being married and living together. That was um, a very interesting um, 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 fan fiction right there. It was... Um, Filled with a lot of kissing and a lot of loving from both Dal and Ryro, from both Ryro and Dal. I don't think those two would ever get along together as just friends or, you know, or as a couple. Like I said, you know, Dal, he's married and has kids and Ryan, you know, he's girlfriends and stuff. They're both, you know, straight people. The only reason why they were gay is because Brandon knew he wanted them to be. You know? Oh, and by the way, there was something I forgot to mention, and that was, I'm actually sick right now as of recording this. I have been sick for the past few days. I have been sick ever since, um, ever since Wednesday of, um, of right now. So I've been sick for, like, a few days now, and I haven't been able to go to school. I've missed out on a lot of things. Hopefully by Monday I'll be better. But yeah, I've actually been sick and it has nothing to do with COVID. It's just, I've had, you know, like diarrhea and stuff. So yeah, I've been terribly ill at this moment, but yeah, um, that's all I have to pretty much say. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit, give it this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that like button. Well, are you, are you already have hit the like button because of me and make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap the little bell to be notified every single time I I hear you guys in this, and ladies and gentlemen, the introvert oddball, or aka Theodore Davis, is out. Bye!